Okay, so analytic trigonometry, verifying identities number 30. So this is a problem that a lot of people seem to have a question about. So let's take a look at this quickly. I have to admit to you that when I did this, I did a lot of weird stuff. I started out like cosine squared x cosine x minus sine squared x sine x all over cosine x minus sine x. Because I thought maybe I'll get some I'll get some identity out here. Maybe I'll get some Pythagorean identity out here. This thing exploded on me like a nuclear cloud. It was it was awful. So what I did was I went back to some more basic algebra, and this is what I came up with, and it really worked out well with me, well for me. I looked at this just algebraically. Looked at this this bit right here, and I realized that what we have here, I think, is this pattern difference of squares, don't we? So I think. We have difference of cubes. I know I said squares, but difference of cubes. And the difference of cubes formula suggests to us that if we have a cubed minus b cubed, what we really have is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So from here, the problem really got easy. And I'm going to go back and say it one more time just to be completely forthcoming about this, that I really struggled at first when I was taking this thing apart. Sometimes we have to remember to keep it simple. So keep it simple. Uh, so this is how this thing bro breaks out, I think. So I'm going to rewrite this piece right here. I'm just going to use difference of squares. And I'm going to rewrite this piece up here using this rule. So my a cubed minus b cubed is my cosine cubed x minus sine cubed x. And I'm going to rewrite it as cosine x minus sine x. And of course, I think we can agree that that's this piece right here, isn't it? And then I'm going to write this other piece right here, which is cosine squared x plus sine x cosine x plus sine squared x, right? And just to make the argument, that's this piece right here, isn't it? So using that formula is, is how I get where get to where I am here. And then I'm just going to bring the piece I had. I still have this piece remaining, so I'm just going to bring it down and put it where it was. And it's cosine x minus sine x. And if you can see here, I have cosine x minus sine x over itself here, right? So that whole thing goes to 1, doesn't it? So this whole thing is 1, which leaves us with cosine squared x plus, if you don't mind, I'm going to move this piece, plus sine squared x plus sine x cosine x. Now I am going to take a Pythagorean identity here, and we know through our Pythagorean identities that cosine squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. So I'm going to replace that with 1 plus this piece right here. It's going to bring it down, sine squared x cosine squared, I'm sorry, cosine x and if you remember from the very beginning, way up here, that we have this thing was supposed to equal 1 plus sine x cosine x. And it does. All right? Good work. Um, remember, sometimes when it gets really, really complicated and it seems like you can't figure it out, you, me, we're probably missing something relatively easy. So don't freak out. And if you just keep pressing with it, it it'll turn out good. I'm um, looking forward to hearing your comments. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thanks.